Tired of sitting inside looking at your significant other, wondering how long must I sit here? Oh, we have a man with a mustache who's selling boys' underwear. Tune in for more. On this episode of Two Season a Pod, we face a life-changing decision. What's it going to be? I don't know. Stick around and listen. But it's going to be huge. I promise you're here by the end of the show. Your life is going to change. So stick around. Cams. Bringing the podcast. Well, folks, uh, you already know what we're listening to. No, they don't. To they it. don't necessarily know what they're listening to, Cam. I, I I fail to believe that you don't know what you're listening to now. Um, I don't peel peel don't play this in the background. This isn't like what's that song you're playing? And even if it was, I guess they do do that thing in music where they're like, uh, the producer says his name. But no, this is this two season of pod with year two host. As the same as every week, we haven't changed at all. So far, so far, no. So far, you and I have been some consistent hosts. Let me tell you, it's uh, Cam Leclerc on this end. Uh, I'm Cameron Osborne. I'm sitting over here. Uh, your two favorite radio shock jock DJs coming back at you for another week. Uh, see, that's the other thing, Cam. I think we're heard a lot in the background, just like DJ hosts. You say to yourself, hey, who are those two wacky guys on 96.7? uh every week doing their one hour uh one hour show the jive what what does shock rock mean you just is it like howard sternish i yeah stern uh you know those sorts of things that people love listening to folks at home we're gonna have a lot of strippers on the show uh a lot of those real trashy questions asking people to put stuff in places i don't know I don't know. The show could turn into a pretty fun little thing if we really lean into this, but we might not. Cam, I interrupted you. You were saying. Speaking of Howard Stern, uh, this goes into my incredible segues. Uh, He recently had Tom Brady on the podcast or whatever. He doesn't do a podcast. This is a radio show. And guess what they talked about, Cam? Um, How many rings could Tom Brady fit into his wife? Close, but no cigar. They hmm. talked about how the Gillette Stadium yeah. still has non-individual showers. Oh, no way. They have group showers. Folks at home, uh, we the heard drop, your responses. We, like we, on the podcast. we were flooded with responses about uh, this true curiosity of ours between what those uh, things are like. So Robert Kraft hosts a stadium that has uh, open communal showers. Yeah. And he was just saying how it's bizarre that they still have it in this day and age that communal showers don't really make that much sense. Okay, um, so if it's weird, that means that it might it must be exist in other places, and it's weird that it's not in New England. No, I think I think he was saying it does exist in every place. Mm. I didn't listen to the interview. I heard a highlight of the interview. Perfect. Um, that's I love. Right. That's how uh, that's how we're sharing information that's now. That's we're we're, headlines, baby. we're, we're you don't sharing the whole thing. We're sharing clips of information in other right. multimedia platforms. So I heard uh, it on a different radio news. show that they were talking about. Yeah, a, a different and radio I didn't show. Do any more investigation? Zero. Mm-hmm. You were listening to a podcast talking about, it, talking about radio. I, it, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, it was a radio show that turned into a podcast. I was talking about a radio show that was not on public radio. Was on Slash public radio. podcast. Did you know there's yeah. this podcast called The Joe Rogan Experience Experience? And what it is, I kid you not, folks at home, you can search this. Don't. Uh, it is two people. Uh, you know, they're probably, they probably look like us. I'm going to say that's all you need to know. And they talk about what the guests talked about on Rogan and say like, oh, that was, that was an insightful thing that Dr. No, 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 no said when blah, 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 blah. Full three hours. Still? And then kind of, no, nah, trim down. And then they'll kind of go over and cut up a couple little clips and put it in there. Uh, wild though. One of the weirdest radio shows I've ever heard. It's a radio show where they talk the about show? what a radio show no, uh, I just podcast. talked about it. It's not a radio show. Okay, it's a podcast that talks about what the radio show that was a podcast. I'm looking for, yeah, there it is, the Joe Rogan Experience Experience. 
I'm finding on Spotify. You just Google exactly what he said. The thing I'm curious about is how long are these episodes? Uh, they're still um, pretty long. They still have length because I think it's two people talking about it. It's, it's not like one person just kind of recapping. Damn. It, it turns this one's into three uh, hours. yeah. It turns into there. There was that like uh, what was that talking Talking Dead, which was a show. I never watched. It that. was an after show after Walking Dead. So there would be an hour of The Walking Dead and then an hour of talking about what just happened on the walking dead uh wild wild i love that people the the uh the so informative oh, fuck cam i haven't been recording something stopped cam god damn it cam that's your fault it what is i don't know what happened hmm. um did you press record and then it just kind of like stopped or whatever I'm not sure okay well i guess we restart from scratch that's up to you. I have, uh, I have, I mean, I'm, I'm, I have you recorded, so. How do you record me? Okay. Be, yeah, because I record, so I record my audio, this thing, and then I also record your microphone coming through my computer. And then you send me your audio and then like your good microphone feed. And then I line up your microphone feed with the audio track of you that I have. And okay. then that's how I do it. You think I just like guess and put things together and somehow I create have, the cadence of our conversation? No, I have, to, I have I, literally no idea how oh, you do shit. it. Oh shit. No, I, it, it's I mean magic. it's a, it's a simple process. You line it up once and then it's good for the rest of the track. Uh Okay. So yeah, so I have I have I have you recorded for the last 8 minutes and then do You want should I just hit record on my if, if we do that, let's just roll with it then. Yeah, and then you just send me okay. Yeah, no, you hit record right. and then I, I can still put you in later, you know? It'll be fine. Okay, cool. Just, I guess, mark down. Oh, that's why the button's just not hitting record. Okay, let's take like a two-minute intermission here, and I will figure out what the fuck's going on here. We're back live, everyone. Thanks for uh, being patient with our intermission. I hope you put a song in between it. Uh, Can you put a song? Yeah, I put, it's like a little fun elevator music, just something to kind of uh, keep it going a little bit, keep you amused, of right. course. Keep, yeah. Keep the fans on the hook. Keep the fans. Um, we need, uh, yeah, we need more intermission type songs, though, folks home. If you want to write us a song uh, to play some kind of thematic element, I don't know. You know where to reach. Juicespot at gmail.com because, Cam, I got to say, uh, our email inbox was blowing up this week so much, so much that we found one to hone in on because that's goddamn okay. right, Cam. We got that's an email. Like Fuck yeah. Dear two C's in a pod at gmail.com. Stop plugging your email all the time. Nobody is going to write you. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, we got I'll an email. That. We got an email that just that just starts off with "Dear friend." Just so nice, dear friend. Oh, I came. No. <laughs> I came across oh, no. your email contact prior a private search while in need of your assistance. I am Aisha Al Gaddafi. What? The only biological daughter of former president of Libya, Colonel Muammar Al Gaddafi? Shit. Cam, That's Cam, the, the biological daughter of Gaddafi is emailing us. Why is she show. emailing us? Because yeah. she has an investment fund worth nice. $27.5 million. And I need a trusted investment partner, manager, Cam, finance this finance that's because me. because of uh, because of Aisha's current uh, refugee status. Um, however, I'm interested in you and us, I guess, for investment project assistance in our country, Canada. Maybe from there we can build business relationship in the nearest future. I am willing to negotiate investment investment business profit sharing ratio with you based on the future investment earning profits. Uh, your urgent reply will be appreciated. Best regards, Miss Aisha Al Gaddafi. Okay, so let's craft our reply. Cam, uh, I gotta say this is this is a huge honor. Um, I love that Cam. I love that people are coming to us because of our charitable good deeds. 
that we do. I mean, our uh, success, our success right? Of course, uh, f- uh, if we can all remember, there was Sophia Lucas who uh, yep. wanted us to work for charity. Of course, uh, Felicia Saitoti. Um, who's her her ex boyfriend? I think died in a helicopter crash. Uh, after it was very terrible it, it, yeah, it was like it was her father was flying the other helicopter that crashed into it, and she had lupus. I remember that that was a key detail for some reason. But uh, yeah. but Aisha Al Gaddafi um really came out to us because she believes that maybe Cam we can do some good in the world. Especially it's a tough time for everybody. Maybe what could we we could do some good with this twenty seven and a half million dollars. Yeah, what could we do with twenty seven and a half million dollars? Um, could probably buy a better mic for myself. <laughs> Step one: we could buy a Step well, one, uh, buy a better mic. Invest in yourself. Well, of course, you know if we are going to be able to do some of these incredible charitable and uh, you know humanitarian things that we do, uh, we need the proper audio visual equipment to broadcast us doing it. Because if nobody sees us doing it, what's the point? What's the point? What's the point? I agree. Let's just get after it. Let's just get um, after well, it. Thanks. Um, what's what's her name again? Sorry. Uh, this is from uh, Aisha Al Gaddafi. Well, thanks for listening to the show, Aisha. Uh, we'll definitely send you some uh, fan mail. We're we're coming out with t-shirts. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, we're t-shirts. To I forgot years. to mention about the t-shirts. Uh, Coast Forks at home. You can order these on podswag.com to search these pod. Com. It's uh, cartoon photos of both my Cam and myself uh, similarly dressed to that Top Gun vo- beach volleyball scene. Uh, we're oh, both really I sweaty. The, uh... We're uh, we've got we've got jeans on, and uh, uh, top gun something's blasting scene? in the background. Highway to the danger zone. No, I think that one was uh, was uh, playing with the boys. <laughs> I need to see this because I want to. Oh my god, Tom Cruise is looking nice and lean. Tom in that. Cruise looks good in just about every single one of his movies. There's a lot of hate on him that I feel is He's unwarranted. Got some uh no he fixed that uh, he fixed that oh did he yeah oh he's got a, he's got a million dollar smile now it looks great oh good for aren't him. you aren't you keeping up on Mission Impossible Cam come on no is it good it's it's fantastic the last two have been uh, through the roof huh okay maybe we'll check it out I mean I do have quite a bit of time on my hands so maybe I still watch it in this I mean me and Shannon have been doing movie nights once a week now. We of course, the invisible. We've done the Invisible Man this week or last week, the new one that came out. Okay, uh, spooky. It's a spooky thriller. It was. Uh, we're uh, folks was at home. We're gonna take you uh, down the road. We're gonna take you to Cam's hot date movie night. Hot date movie night. So, Cam, you're going to yeah, let so. it roll because when I think of somebody going on hot dates, there's nobody else I think about. Then one of my best friends, Cam LeClaire, and uh, you're, you've been watching some movies lately because you've been going on yep. some hot dates. Mm-hmm. So, uh, watched, why don't uh, you tell me about them? Okay. Well, um, I'll start off with my review of it. So, maybe my expectations coming into it was that I've seen a lot of horror movies that came out, thriller, horror type esque, we'll say. Um, in theaters over the last little bit. And typically what I come to expect is that they will be oh, overrated. I think they'll come out very poor because that's just how horror and big cinema t- tends to do. For example, it number two, absolute dud, really too long. Um, didn't like that one at all. Now, of now, course, Cam, one, you, you mentioned one thing right there. You said big cinema. Uh, of course, we're trying to, we've been trying to take down big cinema this whole time. Uh, Bill big and the others at corporate are really on our ass about taking down. I think last time we were take, trying to take down big gun. Uh, of course, big travel is on our ass. And now big cinema yeah. um, are kind of like the, f- the, three, the three big uh, forces to deal with in the world. Oh, you, you didn't get the email? Bill resigned. Bill from corporate resigned. Yeah, what did he? What did he? What did, what did he say? What did he say in his email? Uh, he said we were a lot of stuff coming in that he couldn't deal with. A lot of contracts he needed to review that were outside of his scope, and uh, you know he he wanted to. Really oh, just Cam, focus Cam, Cam! I just got being a pair of- I just got another email uh, from from Bill from corporate uh, saying oh. it wasn't because his contracts were uh, in review. It's because his his contact. 
was in review. I guess he, uh, he got a new prescription for his lenses, and he couldn't see with his new contacts. Cam, this might have been a whole misunderstanding. So he didn't resign? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. He said his contact uh, oh. needed to be... I thought, I thought Craig... I was sending everything to Craig. <laughs> Who's Craig? I mean that, he, you mean he, that he, piece he, of shit down in marketing? Craig's just all about the ratings. No, Craig transferred. Craig transferred. He's now he was working under Bill, and I was just getting like the little stuff sent through him. Contracting, like basic contracts, the little stuff, you know. Oh, For Craig the, the contractor, promotion. of course. Yeah. Right, Craig the contract right. man. Right. Craig, yeah, we don't. It's half part time. Um. Anyway, big industry back. Two steps back, back to the Invisible Man. Um, great, keeps engaged the whole time. Highly recommend it. Uh, like I said, other big horror flicks that came out, not great. This one uh, definitely, definitely uh, it had a nice twist, considering it was based on a like 1940s movie, and they revived it to be a 2020 movie. Right, and, right, and uh, so, so it's the story about a man. Mm-hmm. But he's a little invisible. That's, that sounds Actually, like a, that sounds like enough a of a twist no, of him. If a story I'm a, about a woman, is it who it, is haunted by an invisible man, or is she crazy? So is it like the uh, it is is it like the one with Kevin Bacon from the late nineties? Do, um, do you remember? Uh, do you remember that one with I Kevin know, Bacon? I don't think I remember that one. Oh, okay. Uh, I saw no, that was Hollow Man. Never mind, Hollow Man, folks. Uh, we stopped you there. Um, okay, so Cam, you're not, you're not too, you're not Wait, too. G- they, hmm? No, this doesn't look. No, I'm looking at the pictures of it. Definitely nothing like that. Yeah, no, that was my that 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 was uh that was my mistake. But Cam, you're not just going on one hot date. You're going on a bunch of hot dates. So, uh, yep. What else have you seen? Uh, I've seen Jojo Rabbit. Mm-hmm. That one is great as well. Uh, had a very funny Hitler character on it. Uh, that I really really appreciated. Trying to think. So you, Cam, because see that's now, the thing you love Hitler make it, when we're making fun of him. Yeah, no, it's great. Love to, uh, making fun have of a good guy. laugh, you know. Really, you like having you like having a laugh. I think yeah, that's, of course, think that's I mean, nice. It's it's, it's uh, about him. Yeah, I mean, just because uh, Hitler we, doesn't we mean can... we can laugh. Just just because, uh, or does it depend what we can make fun of Hitler for? Like, can you make fun of him for being fat? He wasn't fat, but let's say he was fat. Can you make fun of? uh, Can you make fun of a horrible person for being fat, or just can you just make fun of them for being horrible? I think you can make fun of anybody for anything. Okay, that's good. Yeah, no. If you want to, if you want to target how thick his thighs were, if you had a big old caboose, um, (laughs) and and we're and Cam, we're hearing it from you as a rotund three pound, yeah, four sixty three. Of course, we're going. Yeah. We're tra- we're trying to Cam. That your campaign scale, to uh, join my six hundred pound life is off to a flying start. Uh, so, many have so many donations have been coming in. So many donations have been coming into the uh, the the, live chat. the GoFundMe and the live chat. Uh, all the Twitch users, thank you so much. All of course, of course, all of your donations goes towards uh, food for Cam. Speaking of live streams, uh, I'm sure you watched WrestleMania on Sunday. Uh, and Saturday. It was too big for one night. How do they do that? Uh, well, well, no, just instead of having it all on the on one night, they just... Because it's normally like six hours, isn't it? Yeah, it's normally a long one. So they added a couple matches that probably didn't need to exist and then uh, just spread it over two nights. I think the first night may have been three hours. The second night was probably four. Four or so. I saw the. I loved it. It was so much fun. It was. Uh, it was another. Just you know, it was another great WrestleMania. Of course, uh, a couple things that you know certainly would have been. Of course, it all would have benefited from the crowd, but there was a couple uh, mm-hmm. good things. There's cool things that happened there, you know. Because they were pre-recorded everything, right? So everything was pre-recorded, and uh, they have everything up until this Friday recorded. So Monday Night Raw was recorded last night. NXT was recorded. Uh, so now they're trying to figure that out still, but it was great. No, it works better. It's funny. It works better when you turn down the volume because you don't hear that there's no crowd. You just watch right. what's happening. So there's that, which I found effective. And then also, it just feels more like you know the shows that the show that you and I went to when there's like no one in the audience. 
Right, but it at just, least you get a few people going. Bananas. That's the thing. At least that was like you know, even thirty people makes the difference of this nobody cheering. Apparently, they wanted yeah. to bring in fans, you know, like VIP fans, and put them just there. But you know, that was you know, they they tried it apparently, and it this didn't work. It just never, yeah, it it, it never went through. But this is wrestling at least until what September. Um, which is great. There was a couple good, know. like, pre-filmed matches with, like, The Undertaker and John Cena. I heard The Undertaker one was pretty cool. They were the both, they were both badass. Yeah, The Undertaker one was also sick. It was more like a, you know, like a scene from a movie. It was, like, a 20-minute, like, fight scene from a movie, which was pretty cool. How, how are their camera angles? Do they really work hard? Because they can actually, if they're pre-recording it, they don't have to have it as one shot, eh? They can be like, all right, we're going to break here. Let's, uh... You're in that corner. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's break for lunch. <laughs> break for lunch. No, right, you have um, him in a choke slam. You're, he's, at the, he's at the top. There was out of the entire show, out of the two matches that were legit filmed beforehand. You know, so those were filmed and edited in their own way. Other than that, there was one moment that something felt like it was like they they redid it. Everything else was probably just in the moment in the one match uh, because you need that flow. Yeah, you need the en- you need the energy. The whole exactly time, right. right? You're like the- these guys are already like making lemonade, so uh, don't make it harder for them. Just let them. What does that mean, making lemonade? You know, because God has given them lemons, or life has given them lemons, so they're making lemonade. Has anyone ever said that to you? I've I've, I've heard it. I don't, I don't think that's how that applies to that statement. Oh yeah, no, because um, they're they do better in front of a crowd. Of course, not even them perform better, but like the the sport is better in front of a crowd, and like you know that's where the drama is. And then, uh, pretty much, uh, they were presented with lemons. In that, what, what lemons were they presented with? The lack of an audience to perform in front of. That no, that they weren't given lemons then. Yeah, no, well, no, they, the the lemons they were given was people being removed from it. You know, I think you're, it's not. Cam, okay, it's not a literal thing. They weren't literally given lemons. Uh, I think it's it's meant to it mean something else. You know, I don't know. Is I that how you thought? Exp- your... Is that how you thought expressions worked? You know, I only learned recently that it's not to play it by year, it's to play it by ear. Ah, uh, now, I'm still, I, I'm, I, I refuse to believe that. I, like you, Cam, probably learned maybe two or three years ago. Uh, I, 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 and I'm willingly boycotting, and I will continue to say play it by year, and I will continue I, to I let, say it all the time, and I will, people can wreck me all the time, and then I just kick them in the shins and I run away. If somebody, so I say play it by ear, and they say play it by ear. I say go fuck yourself, mom. <laughs> it's exactly what I do. That's exactly what I do, and I've done it every time. And mom and I haven't really been talking a lot lately. It's been, uh, it's been, it's been a tough I, seven years. It's been a tough seven years. I, well, I think the two are unrelated. I'm pretty sure the two are unrelated. Uh, but who knows? Who I, knows? I sort of lost, lose my number. Exactly. <laughs> Lose my number, mom. But um, can... but that's it. But that's all. That's all I gotta say about expressions. Um, cool. And, and, lem- and, and, and lemonade. And lemonade. Yeah. And WrestleMania, I guess. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Can't well, wait. You, you heard about you heard about what Dana White's doing with the private island, right? I did hear about that. Um, yeah. I don't know how it's gonna work. It's no. Uh, well, okay, but no. In theory, it's gonna be the exact same, which is gonna be really funny. You're gonna. How do you get people there? Ah, who you the fuck just knows? Fly them in. Yeah, no, but you like, can fly them in. If it's a private island, they would have to have an airport, I guess. Already, some sort. Yeah, but what the Firefest Island is probably open. Just that go has to, an airport. Yeah, go to the Firefest Island, uh, and it's also going to be just as weird to watch. Yeah, you you have no idea how much the because it's it's literally silent. It's going to be what? Maybe oh, they've already done one event like that. Exactly. It's what one coach in either side, a ref. That's who is there. <laughs> I think it'll be a few corner men, but it's kind of neat actually when you hear the uh, corner men because I think in wrestling you'd probably hear the the calls if it was live that you'd be able to pick up much more clearly on the I don't know going left right like I don't know whatever they say. Um, Apparently, that's a thing where um, 
uh, like it happens, and but they're so good at it that nobody knows. That's actually one of the big knocks against John Cena because John Cena loudly calls his matches so much so that even if you're at a live audience at WrestleMania, you can hear him. If you're in the first like four or five rows, you can hear him. Because and, he's but, also known as like one of the safest guys to work with. Too, of right? course, for him, um, and he said this many times. Anytime he he takes the criticism a lot. Anytime he's like, I'm not performing for the people in the crowd. I'm perf- or like for the people in the front row. I'm performing for the people in the fucking nosebleeds and at home, like those like those sorts of things, right? You know, because as soon as you're outside the tenth row, you're not going to hear him talk. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I like that. I'm mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. Of course, I don't think there's any criticism needed at all. No but criticisms. In the U- in the UFC, I think it's cool because you hear them like the coaches calling for shit, right? They're like, be like, hey, Rocky, his, his jab's looking weak. His jab's looking weak. Shoot for the double. Shoot for the double. But then also, maybe the opponent can hear the coach better than he would be able to. They can, yeah. Exactly. He's like, I can hear your coach telling, like, to go for my, to, like, just elbow me, elbow to the liver, just to the liver. And then, and then punch the kidney to the kidney, knee to the kidney. I bet they'll have uh, a lot of code words for this one then. Because that's what some people do. They're like, like, hey, pickles, pickles. yeah, basically. Hit them in the pickles. <laughs> pickles, pickles, banana, uh, garlic bread. Pickles, good banana, garlic bread. They're like, what? What are you talking about? It's like I'm trying to order food. Um, <laughs> hey, that's what I had for lunch. Hey, hey, gabagool. Hey, hey, gabagool. I'm from New Jersey. Hey, I'm from New Jersey. Are we gonna fight or what? Are we gonna fight? Are we gonna fight or are we gonna talk? Uh, what is this? Uh, fuck your mother. Uh, hey, uh, hey, 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 play hey, it by hey, ear. Yeah. Hey, keep the mothers out of this. Keep, keep the, mothers the mothers out of this. this. Great. Well, that uh, that wraps up the sports section. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Episode uh, this episode of the podcast is brought to you by our sports segment. Um, brought to you by uh, Sports Center, ESPN, mm-hmm. uh, Fox Sports, uh, they, all of them. They they pay us big bucks to report. Of course, folks at home, you know, we're rolling in it. We have what is seemingly now an endless piggy bank of funds for us to do our good deeds now, of course, with this $27.5 million we just kind of put on top of that that we just got, uh, let, let alone the, the millions of dollars we've been getting over the rest of the series of this podcast. I mean, Cam, I think we're like, what, maybe like 16 episodes in, and it's just it's just been on fire. Yeah, it's been hot. People can't stop. Yeah, we- People can't stop. One million per episode. We're getting paid. Yeah, that's what they're that's what they're saying. Uh, they gave us they gave us the friends deal. You know, we're getting a million. We're getting a million an episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. They gave they gave me the Chandler. What's what's the Chandler? I think it's, they got like a million dollars a year, and I spend it all on cocaine. Oh, this is from Friends. Yes. Oh, he got really fat one season, didn't he? Yeah. It was. I think it was. I think. I think it was after the cocaine. I think it was. No. Oh, because cocaine keeps you thin, doesn't it? Uh, who knows? Who I knows? Think it does because I don't think you. I don't think the tours like. I don't think you see fat cocaine people. Cocaine people. <laughs> <laughs> you know the cocaine people. You know the cocaine people. They're about six foot tall. They're made of white powder. They kind of walk. They kind of look like they're, uh, you know, like the like the the figure on the crosswalk sign. You know, very nondescript, uh, white people. They're known as cocaine people. The cocaine. Yeah. Um. Well, we're about thirty into it. Should we jump into some some games? Why not, Cam? Why not? What do you want to play first? What do we always start with? Let's play some... Unless you got a top five that's hot. I don't. I do not. So let's play some Free on Kijiji. Free on Kijiji. K-I-J-I-J-I-K. I-J-I-J-I-K. K-I-J-I-J-I-K. 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 Okay, Ham. How about you called you Ham? Only listeners. Only the... only. Wow, I'm just getting a lot. I'm getting a live update right now. Apparently, UFC 249 is canceled. There we go. Dana White tried to buy the Firefest Island. Of course, it didn't work. There you go. Well, that ruins my next week's plans. 
Damn. Yep. Can't life can't get any worse, can it? Oh man. Well, okay. Right, remember, well, it's podcast I'm gonna, time. I'm, so remember, remember, podcast time. Sorry, your it's phone, just, your my, phone I'm, goes I'm, away. I'm, I'm, I, my phone's going away. Sorry, I just, I, I, that's where I kept my notes for the thing, and then it popped up, and it told me that my life is over. <laughs> of course, your life's not over. You're trying to sell me some free shit. So, Cam, I'm gonna hop on the elevator. Hey, hey, come on in, come on in here. Oh yeah, what? No, I'm, 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 I'm already in the elevator. I'm just uh, perfect, going up. Perfect. You're uh, Jim, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my name. Jim. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Jim. Uh, they're in the back of my car. You. Uh, are you? Are you okay? You, you can. I'm sorry. Sorry, sir. There, there's nobody else in this uh, elevator. You can. You can communicate want, at full I volume. I don't want the cameras. I don't want the cameras picking up on me. I don't, I, I don't think. I don't know if they catch sound, but okay. Uh, Listen, sorry, Jim. Well, I'm not saying this shit is legal. Oh. Um. <laughs> pardon me. Pardon me. Jim, do you do you do you want them or not? I don't even know what you're talking about, sir. I got eight pair. Eight pair of. Well, boys' underwear, just like you, you, you're the Jim on Kijiji, right? Uh, I am Jim on Kijiji. Yes. Um, I well, was. You, you asked for the eight boys, pairs of boys' underwear. I was. Uh, I didn't say boys. I said guys. <laughs> Big <laughs> they're, difference they're, there. They're, I wasn't specifically they're, asking. They're boys' for, underwear. I wasn't specifically looking for boys' underwear. I was looking for underwear that would fit a guy. And. That's that. That's seen, folks. That is eight pairs of boys' underwear in Calgary, Alberta, uh, free on Kijiji. Person says they have not been worn yet. You never know, and it's not a risk that I'm going to go ahead and take. Um, that one's that one's weird. That one's tough. It's a you know b- little bizarre. That one's a little bizarre. Uh, what else? What do you do? What else do you do with old underwear? I don't think they're old. I think they said they were new. They were like, "Oh, we didn't like how they fit." So yeah, just, like, <laughs> but like, why are they all out of the package? You know? Yeah, their little son got excited. He was like, "I'm gonna try on all the underwear, mom." I'm gonna try them all on just in case. It's like, but they're all the same. You're like, "I'm gonna try them all on." <laughs> I want my balls to touch all of them, mom. I'm gonna play it by ear, mom. <laughs> play it by ear, mom. It's play Fuck. it by ear. Fuck you, mom. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Just bring just bring that one to Value Village, though. Uh, no sense. Do you creep. though? I mean, I don't think Value Village will accept it. Sure they will. Sure they I will. Don't know, yeah, yeah. No, I know you see socks and underwear and stuff at uh, Value Village. Yeah, I mean, I never buy it because you know <laughs> because of reasons. But uh, <laughs> I got, do I, got my do I need to? Uh, do I need to give a reason? Do I need used pair of socks or underwear? I no, my my thrift shopping is uh, little little to most, anyways. My, my thrift shopping is mostly flannels, mm-hmm. um, some uh, sometimes like cups or like cutlery or like, oh yeah, anything uh, houseware you need. It's a good just thing for that. that you're but like, in, ter- I don't in terms need a of good clothes, one. in terms of clothes, it's I b- mostly uh, flannels. I buy jeans to cut into jean shorts. That's about it. Yeah, I haven't worn jean shirts in a while. Oh man, I'm bringing cutoffs back with this you new mu- with this back, with this new with this new mustache of mine. I uh, really want to cool. get into Tobias Funke esque cutoff shorts. I feel like if I lived in Toronto, I could pull off a mustache, but in in Waterloo, oh, I was just... getting some looks. I've been getting so this this thing is less than outside, twenty. This guy? thing's twenty four hours old, and I am getting some look. I'm getting looked at. I'm getting uh, caressed, uh, you know, with people's eyes. I'm getting undressed. It's beautiful. Hmm. Um, I think it looks cool on you, so I'd keep it for you. Yeah, we're keeping it. We're keeping it for now. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Never. Not even your dad. Take that, dad. Take that, dad. Take that, dad. No, my, uh, I, I know. My mom sent me a photo of my dad at 28, and his mustache was far thicker than mine. It was darker also, and it, like, curled around. You know, it was really oh, a true the old lip curl, yeah. caterpillar. Um, that's just something I just, you know, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it the way that he could. It makes me want my mustache back. Then bring it back. You have nothing to do. It's. It just doesn't look good, though. So? Yours looks cool. You're an adult man. You're allowed to look how you want to look. <laughs> I want to look cool. Cool, then grow a mustache. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, well, I literally just shaved today, so. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, it's okay. 
That's a it's a tabula rasa of uh, of facial hair. You're using words I don't know what they mean. I think it's Latin for blank slate, but don't ask uh. me. I didn't say anything. Okay, Cam, we're still in the midst of playing some uh, some free on Kijiji. So uh, so how about you help in there? Okay. Hold the door. Hold the door. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. Sorry about that. Uh, Mr. Harper, yeah, it's great, uh, great to see you. Uh, happy, happy, it's almost Easter. Uh, happy Easter around the office. I say Easter because I'm a big Kanye fan, but Of yeah. course, uh, I know you're a big supporter of Yeez, the Easter buddy. Uh, he kind of dresses up in those little shades that Kanye West has, and he gives out samples, uh, for, for free, but it's, um... Uh, how how are your children doing around this time? I mean, I guess it's tough. They they don't, there's no real like egg hunt for them to go on, or uh, you know they can't visit the Easter Bunny. Uh, that must be difficult. Yeah, they're not having a fun time. I can say that much. Uh, well, hey, I got to tell hair out. I got to tell you. So I've been listening to this podcast, two season pod at gmail dot com, uh, okay. and this uh, there's this uh, short fat man who was telling me about these free Photoshop lessons that he's been taking. Yes. Uh, and he said they've been very rewarding for them, he said. And mm. I've been checking out the Instagram page, and they're really, really, really cool photos. And so I thought to myself, hey, maybe I'm going to try those same sorts of things. And, uh, sir, i got to say, I'm actually getting pretty good at this Photoshop. And if uh, I, I thought maybe if you wanted to send me a photo of your child, I will try my best to put them in a photo with two Easter bunnies uh, for free. All I need, Mr. Harper, if that's okay, I just need a photo of your child uh, or your children standing up, um, and I can I can I can get it done until I can get it done before Easter. I I, I I'm not the biggest fan of sending photos of my <laughs> children to strangers, but that mustache it's it screams yes. <laughs> Oh, per- perfect, uh, sir. Yeah, so just be sure to send me a photo of your child or children standing. Um, you're not the uh, you're not the guy looking for the uh, the underwear. <laughs> I put the underwear ad actually. Um, what's that? I don't know how we made those two happen. Yes, of course, Cam. If you find yourself in lovely, uh, warm, tropical Dayton, Ohio. Uh, you can you can have your child or children uh, photoshopped into a photo with the Easter Bunny for free. Why would I need to be in Dayton, Ohio, though? Couldn't I be anywhere? That's a good point. You could be anywhere. Cam, you don't even have to be in Dayton, Ohio. Send a photo of you your child really, or yeah, children. If you're a listener and you have kids or just want to put yourself in there, <laughs> can we put ourselves in there? Can we just take a pic, both take a and be like, could you do this for us? I guess. All they, I mean, they didn't say. If he's offering. Like, if we're he's like, offering. He did say yeah. specifically children. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what if we say, like, these are my adult children? <laughs> like, these, these, are, these are my children. So. These, are my, these are my two adult sons. And then we, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, understand? but there you have it. That's, uh, that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. I like that. Well, that's fantastic. Um, another great week. Another great week of uh, headline wrestling. I got this. Uh, I got the dog Riley with me for the week, as you've probably seen on video. For the listeners at home, you probably have not picked up on it all. But she is being a little baby tonight and just not leaving me alone. That's tough. It must be tough being a dog these days. You're getting a lot of walks. <laughs> Lots of walks. Lots mm. of walks. We'll go on one after, sweetheart. Mwah. She's looking at you, Cam. That's great, Cam. One could argue a dog is just as distracting as a cell phone. No. And I'm sure, I'm, and I'm sure, and I'm sure, and I'm sure the listeners are uh, are loving this. They they are fine with it. Are um, they? They are. Are they? So. Have we asked Some them yet? Yes. Two scenes pod gmail yes. Ask us. Do we want more of Cam petting the dog? Or uh, more of Cam petting the dog, if you know what I mean. Uh, let us know. Uh, two seasons pod gmail dot com. Two seasons pod at gmail dot dom. Of course, always open. Oh, now she still is. Now we're good. Don't worry. Full focus brought back on the pod. <laughs> full focus brought back, and just in perfect time, Cam, because we got to play our last game. Why don't we? It's called Headliner Asinine. Hey. Hey, 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 hey,
asinine. We play it because it's a lot of fun and Cam, this is a Cam, original Cam game. Yes. Yes, but you came up with it. You came up with the name. Uh, I heard you're in the process of copywriting it right now and uh, trying to break out onto the a board game world. And you're getting really close. The board, the the board game world of mm-hmm. yeah of 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 current news events. Of course, I would play the game. Cam and I bring each other three headlines, and uh, some of them are true, and some of them are not. And it's us to us, up to us to figure out which one's which. So, Cam, how about you start? Oh boy, um, first one up, headline or Ohio or in Ohio? Tired of social distancing? New outdoor channel features virtual walks with crowds. Oh, that's so fun! Uh, virtual walks with crowds. I've never done. I've 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 done uh, VR. You know, I've I've done it. The full body thing. You go to a place, you pay thirty bucks, put a little headset on. You got the headphones, you put a thing on you, and you feel like you're walking around. I would love this if it was. Uh, you know, you got your VR, and the next thing you know, um, a little treadmill, and then you just kind of go on the treadmill. It's kind of like running in place, but you know you get to go somewhere. You know you get to experience something. You have to I've be pretty de- with bicycles, which is pretty fun, actually. Yeah, you have to be pretty desperate to want to do that. Uh, I would say, uh, but it sounds just stupid enough to work, so it's a headline. It's asinine. I made it up. It's a lie. It's not real. That's how you. That's what it means. That's how you play the game. That's how you play the game, folks. Um, yeah, I mean, I've done the, there's a really good one for cycling that I enjoy. It's where you go, like, it basically puts like a virtual world in front of you Mm -hmm. and then you cycle and then like, as you go up hills, it it makes your bike go harder. If you go down hills, lighter. It's it's actually, I would recommend it to any of the people at home listening. Um, it's, it's, as they say in the industry, it's a good time. Yeah, that's exactly what they say in the industry. Cam, I have a headline for you. Uh, Let me hear it. Headline, or, headline or asinine. High school baseball coach fired for profanity-laced speech after winning the state championship. Well, I know where headlines are from every time, period. So I'm going to say the we're not going to have any social distancing wrong with that. Now, mm-hmm. can I imagine him getting fired for – I'm just curious if you win a championship and you're dropping a bunch of F-bombs. Maybe if you drop, like, two or three, it's okay. But if, like, every fourth word is a uh, some profanity, I could see you getting fired. But then you're the champion. But is it a good representation for this Mormon school? I don't know. Um I really hope he didn't say any racial slurs because that would definitely make you your cut off the team. You're like, <laughs> all these neighbors out here killed this game. If he pulled off some shit like that, yeah, that's a fireball offense. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and say headline. Cam, you're on the right path. It's a headline. Of course, this happened at uh, Seminole High School. Uh, where Coach Kenny Brown was fired after they win the baseball championship, and he goes mm-hmm. off in a video that one of the kids just filmed, right? Put it on, I don't know, Instagram, Facebook, was it wherever. In the, in the locker room to boot? No, it was on the bus on the way home. So of course the okay. school wins their first. Did you champi- watch it? Yeah, I watched it. School. The school wins their first championship since ni- uh, since 1992. Mm-hmm. So it's been a long one of time where the guy, this guy in the video says, we got this motherfucker right here. No one else has it. It's fucking ours. And he goes on to say, uh, you guys showed up. You fucking played the game. You played it right. You never fucking panicked. Uh, and he does at one point point out a specific player who says even he did it and he has type one fucking diabetes. Uh, this coach was fired up, and he looked so fired up, too, which was just I like... Mean, I don't see anything fireable about that. He yet. got caught up in the moment, and then I guess uh, the video just kind of surfaced, and then, uh, the story's from a little while ago, but, um, back in February, video surfaced, and then they had no choice. This, the school board's just like, yeah, um, they're appalled, blah, 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 profanity, blah, blah, blah. He's gone. 
So he's uh you know he, but he won he won a state championship. So what do you think? Do you think he should have got fired? I'm cool with it because it's sports. Like I've had yeah, that's no it's worse. Locker room talk. That's no worse than. Uh, no, I wouldn't use that word because that word implies some that, like other nefarious means. That's I just, right. Forgot I'm just talking about the pure sports about it. Right. Uh, I've had coaches say much worse than that to me. Yeah, I've sure. I've had coaches use that many f words talking about how I screwed up some things, and I I I, I can take it because it's sports, and I kind of get it. Uh, so the, for me, the that's question okay. Really is. Were they trough showers or were they individual stalls? That's a good point. And he said, you motherfuckers did it even though you've been pissing and shitting beside each other for the last four fucking years. Should we and you didn't our let that... To trough showers? <laughs> uh, no, but I do Just think... Trough I d- shower conversations. <laughs> I, do think, uh, I do think fans would like to be let in on a little bit of trough talk. Where we talk, like, you know, it's a, it's a part of the show where we stand in a piss trough, or like we stand beside a piss trough and just kind of talk and piss into or, the trough. Or we have a game where once, once restrictions are laid off, we have a game who can hold the longest conversation with a stranger while taking a pee. Uh, I mean, that's the thing, how, right? How many it really becomes how long can the pee go? But that's if the thing. If you, like, if you can pull off, like, I don't know, four exchanges where it's like, <laughs> He speaks, I speak. And then you come back, you're like, I got a big four set this week. You're like, what's up, guy? Yeah. He's like, hey, oh, hey, how's much. it going? Good. Thanks. Not bad. You. Thanks. You. <laughs> Done. Good. Doing well. You're like, I got a six banger. I like, mean, yeah, I guess it's a timeline thing. If the you timeline. Could, like, watch on your watch quickly. You're like, <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's home. I'm going to close the door. Well, there you have it, Cam. Give me another headline. All right. Headline or yasinine. Trough talk, baby. Uh, <laughs> trough or no trough? Trough or no trough? <laughs> Shower stalls or trough? Trough talk. Uh, sorry, my, my pages went. Okay, here we go. Uh, a single factory is now working 24 7 to keep craft dinner on grocery shelves. Um. Uh, there's a lot disconcerting about that, um, about that sentence, Cam. Uh, you know, working overtime. You know, you want to make sure that everyone's getting paid fairly. Nobody's working extra hours, of course. You know, want to make sure people are um, being safe. And also, why is your food being made in a factory? This well, is just this. Dinner. This is tough for me. You know, uh, where do you think it gets made? I don't, I don't know, but to uh, you know, but to really break that veil. Of you know, you not not necessarily knowing where your food came from. You think people would as many people would eat craft dinner if it came from the fucking factory that Sweaty Joe worked at? You know, Sweaty Joe who smokes a pack a day, fucking has one of those like under gut parts. You know, like it's like it's under the main gut because gravity yeah, sort of has gravity has a peak when it comes to gut. <laughs> so I there's kind of gets to be a, this um, under tuck. A fupa, isn't it? A fupa? There's a word yeah. for it? Wait. A uh, fupa. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Fat, upper, penile, or pussy area. The fupa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is a great American headline because all these all these motherfuckers with their fupas, um, <laughs> you know, were, you know, eating sh- shitty pasta. That's a headline. That's a headline, and that's out of Montreal, actually. <laughs> So I re- stand reason. by it. I stand <laughs> by what I said. They they are running twenty four seven. They're the only factory in Canada producing it. They got nine hundred and sixty plant employees, and they are keeping Canada fed right now. So congratulations, because certainly congratulations. Big so shouts out working to the hard out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All big them shouts out to the fupas. Fupa. Hit me up, big fella. Okay, Cam, I got another headline for you. Here we go. Um, uh, so Shenzhen becomes first Chinese city to ban the consumption of cats and dogs. Well, if I know anything about Shenzhen, it's progressive. Um, 
<laughs> Got that right, Cam. There's one city, <laughs> There's one city in, China in mainland China, China put their foot down against eating cats and dogs, especially cats, uh, small cats. Uh, it's Shenzhen, and I it had to be it had to be them first. You know, they are the Vancouver, British Columbia of Canada <laughs> or of uh, China. They are the New York City of America. Uh, and they are the Shenzhen of China. It is a headline. Cam, you're right. That's a headline. It only took 2,020 years and not a single one longer. But uh, China, <clears throat> at least this one city in China, has finally banned the consumption of animals raised as pets. Of course, this goes into effect uh, as of May 1st. So it hasn't Wait, actually quite it? happened okay. yet. Um, but they passed... The they passed the law or the bill, whatever it is, and it will uh, happen eventually, um, including so like not only like pets, uh, cats and dogs, but they'll also uh, prohibit the consumption of other state protected wild animals. And uh, they didn't specify just kind of um, any yeah other national animals. Uh, you know, pretty the much nationals. Yeah, you know, pretty much anything that's not you know I don't want to say normal, but you know what I mean. Uh, Are bats still on the menu. <laughs> Uh no, no, no um absolutely no. not. Uh so yeah, so the animal, the only animals that can be consumed from now on are uh pigs, cattle, sheep, donkey, rabbit, chicken, duck, goose, pigeon, quoll, as well as aquatic animals who are not banned by uh like a, who are not state protected things like that. Uh, you can get caught though, and it's actually pretty bad. Uh, will it be a fine of approximately fourteen hundred U S. If you are caught consuming or selling or facilitating uh, dogs and cats being. But finally, I got to say, I got to say, call me crazy, but I don't think we should be eating cats and dogs. I agree. I don't know, Cam. I don't know how you feel about that subject. Folks at home, let us I mean, know. I was, I was petting a dog for the last 15 Maybe minutes. Maybe you were grooming it to take a bite, Cam. I don't know what's going on in that sick brain of yours. Uh, hey, listen, let us... I'm not the guy buying underwear out of an elevator. Hey, I wasn't buying the underwear. I posted the ad for the underwear. I Where had I it. I was from? trying to get rid of it because <laughs> I thought, <laughs> I'm I thought wearing life. boys' underwear would make my junk look huge. <laughs> It kind of did, but it was a little too tight, so I wanted to get rid of them. Ohio or no Ohio, a zoo has been trying to get two pandas for mate for. T- <laughs> a zoo has been trying to get two pandas to mate for ten years. When the coronavirus shut down the zoo, the pandas finally did. Um, it's always tough, you know. Uh, we've all seen Tiger King, so we all know it's wrong to breed. Uh, these endangered species breed these wild animals, but uh, for pandas, we throw those rules out the window. We want these pandas to right. fuck. Not enough of them. Not enough of them are fucking. I love the panda. I love the panda mentality of just nah, <laughs> nah. I'm not gonna panda, fuck. Panda, panda, I love panda, that. Panda, I, that's so panda. cool. That's so cool. And these male pandas get presented. Like, anytime there's two pandas, they throw them in a fucking room together and just like, wait for them to fuck. And they never do. I love the pandas' mentality. It's just. It's because they no. put a director there, just like, just make it look natural. Or maybe that's what it is. Maybe, yeah. you know, what? Maybe these pandas are like, just kind of like, you know, banging, you know, jerking off uh, when nobody's watching. And maybe that, like, feels better. You know, like, would you want to have sex with a bear? I mean, I wouldn't. Bears aren't hot, so no. it might it would be pretty tough for me to get one up, you know. Um, uh, but maybe, maybe, maybe we've been wrong this whole time, right? It's not that these pandas don't want to have sex; it's that they, I don't know, don't want other people watching them have sex. I, uh, so, some, I people, right, because... some people, some uh, people, some people, uh, some people do well in that kind of pressure. You know, I'm sure there's, uh, you know, other species that, uh, dare I say, want to be watched. Um, you know, like when you see a dog just go into town on another dog in the middle of a park. No shame. They don't care. They want everyone to see them getting laid, you know, because it's pretty cool. They're getting laid. They want the other dogs to, like, high five them and stuff like that, uh, you know, for getting laid. But the pandas, they just have a different, they just have a different thought. And now that all this privacy has happened, uh, they're kind of getting it on. Which is great for the species. That's a that's a troft. That's a troft. Uh, that is a high-o. 
uh, troughs, call it what you want. It's definitely not a stall. No. Nope. Uh, we're, we're <laughs> definitely veering away from the original titling, but that's okay. Uh, the late listeners will know. The and the was, old fans the, know. The, the old, old slops old know. Old fans know. Old, old fans, fans know what Ohio versus no Ohio means. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so it was in Hong Kong. Uh, close in January, and then they fucking got it on. Not much else. Other the headline, I think, tells them almost the whole story. Okay, well, is uh, is one of the bears pregnant? Are they yeah, expecting? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, one of the bears is pregnant. Great, this is great. Now we have another panda coming up. Panda, this panda, is exciting, panda, folks. Panda. Uh, Not as here... good as that hit song by Future. Uh, like, two, of course, ago. that show, that song from ten years ago, Cam. Was uh, by Future? I don't think so. Maybe. It was not. Um, it was Designer. Cam, you're. Designer. Um, this is some great news. Uh, I think the folks home would love to hear a follow up to this panda follow-up. story. I think you should really dig your heels into this. Uh, this new panda. What? The, what? You know, updates. When it's gonna? When? If we can find out a sex, maybe. I don't know if they're doing any prenatal panda testing. Um. So the mom's name is Ying Yang, and she the giant pandas ranges between seventy two and three hundred and twenty four days. The and Ying it'll be Yang. keeping its updates. Yeah, it's, the, 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 its name is Ying Yang. Why? <laughs> Why? It couldn't have had any different name. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. Yeah. So. Ying Yang's pregnant. <laughs> trough. Okay, that's great. That's great. That's great. That's a trough. Okay, Cam, I got one more for you. Okay, you ready here? Mm-hmm. Uh, 62-year-old sets record by holding a plank for over eight hours. Uh, yeah, it was my dad's. That's a headline. <laughs> <laughs> My dad can hold the plank for longer than your dad. My dad can hold like seventy-two <laughs> hours, dude. Like easy. Because uh, <laughs> you repeat it. Sixty-two-year-old sets record by holding plank for over eight hours. My question is: Is it a record for sixty-two-year-olds? Is it a record for holding the longest plank? Like this is a real question because I feel like some. A whippersnapper and like he was like 25 could crush that they're like i just have better things to do than hold a plank for eight hours it's called a <laughs> fucking job uh <laughs> beyond the point uh, <laughs> do i think it's possible i've heard of people i i don't think that's a world's record i've heard longer now the part i'm questioning is do they say like world record for over 50 or some bullshit like that. Or they like record in Ohio in this town over 24 years old. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set a headline, but I don't think it's a world record for longest time. Cam, you're, uh, that's a high but you're not right for the right reasons. Uh, because earlier on this year, uh, George Hood set the Guinness World Record. For longest plank time with 8 hours, 15 minutes, and 15 seconds. Uh, he's an American. The women's record is actually held by a Canadian who held a plank for 4 hours, 19 minutes, and 55 seconds last year, which is also in some amount of time. But this guy, uh, George Hood, is a former U.S. Marine, a retired DEA officer, uh, who previously broke the record in 2011. He held the Guinness record for 1 hour and 20 minutes. And then in 2016, that was broken to eight hours, one minute, and one second. Like, it was fucking (laughs) over. Yeah, it was hugely broken. Um, So he actually didn't hold the record for the last, like, year or, no, last four years now. And uh, then he got it back. But uh, to reclaim his title, he trained every day for an average of seven hours for past 18 months leading up to this where uh, he spends four to five hours a day in a plank pose. Then he'll do 700 push-ups, 2,000 sit-ups. Uh, Why the in, push-ups? In sets of 100, uh, 500 le- and 500 squats, and then he does approximately 300 arm curls a day. Uh, in total... Those hood- don't seem like they're equating to good planks. In total, like that, he that, guesses he spent about 2,100 hours preparing to break this record. 
and his kids still wonder why he hasn't come back for that pack of cigarettes. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool, though. No, you can watch the video of, like, you know, it kind of has a video and cut up uh, a little bit of him at the beginning, it's, middle, it's and, of full, course, like, when he holds it to the video. end. Guy's fucking jacked. Like, I'd you know, imagine. Of course. I mean, surprised. Cam, you're sitting here saying, why is he doing push-ups? And this guy's why holding a plank for eight hours? I'm pretty sure he's not listening to you for his training advice. Let's tell you that much. Uh, this is the fitness podcast. Two C's and a pod. Uh, two dumbbells and a squat rack. Yeah, two dumbbells and a squat rack. Uh, at gmail.com, you guys can reach us. We talk about um, lifting weights. We talk and about WrestleMania. WrestleMania. We talk about wearing um, onesies. We talk about uh, my creatine vodka I'm trying to get off the ground that has five grams of creatine monohydrate per every bottle. Um, so you can just drink vodka creatine at the gym. Still trying to get it off the ground. If you're into it, though, we're still looking for investors. Always looking for investors. Yeah. Always looking for investors on the show. But that's how you play the game. That's how you play Headliner Ass 9. Lovely. It's always and a lot of fun. That uh, that wraps up the pod here. I think we're like right on an hour, too. I think we're about time to, uh, yeah, we're about good to wrap up the show, I'd say. Well, thanks, thanks everyone, for listening. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say. Great outro, Cam. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Remember thanks to rate, review, like, and subscribe wherever your Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Rate, review, Spotify. like, subscribe, and like Cam's photo on Instagram because it's going to be a doozy this week. It's going to uh, be a doozy. Is it? Uh, is it going to be the? <laughs> is it going to be you and I as uh, Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer in Top Gun? Possibly. Who knows? Oh we'll see. shit! What's up with our good, with our with our hot mustaches on? It's going to be a lot of fun, folks. Thanks for listening. You stay safe out there. And Cam, we'll talk to you later. Cam's.